I'm Dr. Ramakrishna Prasad, a family medicine specialist and an HIV AIDS specialist. I consult at Health Roots Clinics, Sheshadripuram and Vijayanagar. I also consult at St. Philomena's Hospital and at NU Hospital, Bangalore. If you had unprotected sex with a partner whose HIV status is not known, there are three tests or three types of tests which will determine if you have been infected. And the accuracy of these tests depends upon how much time has passed since the exposure. Broadly, there are three types of tests. The first test, first group of tests are antibody tests. The body takes approximately three to six weeks to make enough antibodies uh, that can be detected by the HIV antibody tests. So if you have had exposure to a partner six weeks previously and you get an antibody test such as the ELISA test and this is negative, it is extreme, it is very highly likely that you have not been infected. The second type of test is a combination antigen antibody test or a fourth generation test. These tests not only detect antibodies made by the human body against the HIV virus, but also antigens which are parts of the virus itself. These tests become uh, positive earlier in case of true infection. So a combination test or a fourth generation antigen antibody test will become positive as early as two to three weeks or two to four weeks after infection. So if you've had uh, unprotected sex with a partner whose status is unknown and say this test was done four weeks after exposure and is negative, um, the chances that you have been infected are extremely low. The third type of test is called a nucleic acid amplification test or PCR test. This is also called the viral load test. This is the first test or the test that becomes positive, that detects infection the earliest. So in case you have um, uh, been exposed to a partner whose status is unknown and you do this test, the PCR test, after 10 days after exposure and this is negative, the chances that uh, you are truly negative or have not been infected are very high.